Uh, so, you're here to create the ultimate Spartan warrior, to kill the dirty Persians. Well, there's four steps, each more complex than the last. The first step even a simple Persian could do. You go into the afterlife mode and turn on the juggernaut machine. Purchase the juggernaut perk for 2,500 points. This is the first step to creating the ultimate Persian warrior. You will be able to withstand great falls and a large amount of hits from the Persians after you have purchased this perk. You just keep coming, don't you? The next step is to create the shield of Sparta. The first piece can be located in these three locations shown here. The next piece is past the fiery hellhound in here. It can be found here on the shelf. Or on this shelf here. Or just behind this engine in the corner here. The next piece can be found just past here in the corner there. Or down in the citadel tunnels in this corner here. The final location for the final piece is on the spiral staircase, past the second wall in the corner here. I don't know what it is, you must I'm now build the Shield of Sparta. It would be wise to build it near where you will be fighting the Persians so that you may replenish your shields as you will use many. The shield allows you to knock the Persians back and give you some more space. The next piece to create the ultimate Spartan warrior is the Hell's Redeemer. You must first get the Hell's Retriever. If you don't know how to do this, then you're a simple Persian. Once you have the Hell's Retriever, you go to the bridge with the Pack-a-Punch machine and get as many kills with your Hell's Retriever as possible. You will then hear a sound. The sound is like that. Then you know you have completed that step. The next step is to go back to the prison named Alcatraz and finish the round. After you have done this, the Hell's Retriever will no longer be here and it will be replaced by blue light. You must then throw your Retriever into the fire of Hell. Then go into the afterlife, for only the hands of death may retrieve the Hell's Redeemer from the blue light. Once you have the Hell's Redeemer, you can move on to the fourth step of creating the ultimate Spartan warrior. This step involves getting the Sword of Justice. You must first throw your Hell's Redeemer at the poster on the wall here after going to the Pack-a-Punch machine at least once. This will open up a hole in the wall that only the dead may pass through. Once you are here, the Iron Sword will be laying on the ground. You must shock it with all your might in order to get it to teleport to the cafeteria. Then go to the cafeteria, and in the back window, you will find the sword. Use your Hell's Redeemer on it to retrieve it. Then go up into the infirmary. Once you are here in the infirmary, you must follow this path to get to the tub. Put your sword in the tub. You must now get the Blunder Gat, upgrade it, and then use it with the Acid Cat kit. Then go to the showers and get approximately 40 kills from the Persians. Once you have done this, you will hear a laugh. This indicates that you have completed this step and you must go back to the infirmary and go to the tub filled with blood and retrieve the golden sword of Spot.
who have now created the ultimate Spartan warrior, capable of defending himself from any Persian army no matter the size. This ultimate warrior is equipped with the golden sword of Sparta, capable of slaying a dirty Persian with a single touch of the blade for 33 rounds. The shield of Sparta protects your ultimate warrior from any slimy Persians that get behind you. This shield also excels at pushing the army back. The Hell's Redeemer finishes the Spartan's arsenal, capable of killing many a Persian with a single throw. This is the ultimate Spartan warrior. Now that you have created this warrior, you must slay all the dirty Persians you find. Now watch as the ultimate Spartan slays the Persian army. Giving me any fucking love bites. That's for giving me 